Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have three more Diamond Art Club diamond paintings to unbox for you guys. These are all Hannah Lynn <laughs> diamond paintings. I do apologize for my previous Diamond Art Club unboxing where I unboxed two of them. I did say they were both Hannah Lynn. One of them was Hannah Lynn. One of them was by another artist. Can't remember the name right off hand. Um, but a number of you did put in the comments that one was not Hannah Lynn. So I do apologize for that. However, all three of these are Hannah Lynn. I did go ahead take the outside cellophane wrapping off. Um, so I didn't have to take the time to do that on camera. We do have two full square uh, diamond paintings and one round. And if you're not familiar with Diamond Art Club, they do come in these nice boxes. And then they are also sent in a cardboard box. So you know your diamond paintings are very well protected in shipping. We do have the picture on the outside of the box, which is also really nice. So I have Dahlia, I have Good Witch, and I have Sasha and Jet. I do have a few more Hannah Lynn <laughs> sitting behind me for unboxing also for you guys. So there will be another couple of... Uh, Diamond Art Club unboxings in the future. So let's take a look at this one is smaller. Um, this one is a 59 by 42 or it is 23.2 inches by 16 and a half inches. These two are, well this one is 56 centimeters by 79 so almost a 60 by 80. This one is 55 centimeters by 77. So these are a little bit bigger. So let's take a look at the smaller one first, which is the Dahlia. So colorful and gorgeous. I love Hannah Lynn. Love, love, love her diamond paintings. Again, if you're unfamiliar with Diamond Art Club, you know that they are just premium, premium canvases and drills. It, it is one of the top of the line diamond painting companies out there. They are here in the United States so you do get your diamond paintings very quickly from them. The other ones that I have sitting behind me um, were pre-orders so they did take a while to get here um, just because they were pre-orders. Um, otherwise once they came in stock I did get them very quickly. So in the box you do get this sticker and you can use this for however you want. Some put it on the outside of the box on maybe the end um, depending on how you store your boxes. You can quickly see which diamond painting it is. Some like to put this in their log um, with a start and end date. So however you want to use this sticker has the name of it up here and the size and that it is a square diamond painting. Always nice to have that. You have your really nice Diamond Art Club toolkit. Okay. And you have your premium canvas and drills. So let's take a look at that. I'm so excited. <laughs> These canvases are just so soft and velvety. They are a little more expensive because of the high quality. But yeah, when uh, you get this type of quality, yes, you, you kind of expect to pay a little bit more. <gasps> oh, she is stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at these colors. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you do always get step-by-step -step instructions in case this is your very first diamond painting. 
then you get this gorgeous nice sticker sheet again has the sticker over here this does indicate the start and end date so you can use this for the log and you can put this smaller one on your box and I think that is what a lot of people do and that is what I am going to do and then you get the stickers that you can put on your storage containers um, when you are working on this particular diamond painting it has the number of the drill they call it the serial number has the symbol this is all in color and then it has the DMC code you also have some blanks over here which is nice to keep um, for either some other diamond painting kits that don't come with these stickers and you want to put them on your containers so it's nice that they give you some blanks also so love the fact that some of these premium companies are now including this but look at, look at the colors in there. I love her diamond paintings that have the black outline. I don't know why, I just do. Oh, it just feels so nice. <laughs> so we do have a nice large uh, color key, upper left and lower right and this is much more important when you have these larger diamond paintings now this one is a landscape picture so depending on where you're working though even on this landscape picture and this one is not quite as large as some of the other uh, diamond paintings they have it's still nice when you're working on this side to have this very nice and handy right here and then when you're working on this side to have it right up here i always work on my diamond paintings because i'm right-handed i start in the upper left and i work my way across and then i come down so again really nice to have them on both sides but of course this diamond painting um the key or the the canvas is just perfect poured glue and it is just like glass i mean yeah the symbols are super super clear oh just look at the colors in this thing i always take off the clear uh cover sheet and I cover mine with um, parchment squares and then I work in that particular square at a time I know a lot of people leave this on they just peel it back as they work on the diamond painting and then they use what are called uh, cover minders they're little metallic um, very decorative on the top and, and a magnetic bottom so that it sticks and it holds your sheet in place and it can get addictive <laughs> collecting those cover minders because there are so many cute ones out there i do have a couple of them um, and i do use them at times um, so yeah i only have two of them because i do not keep this on here um, but yes oh so exciting so let's look at these drills again this is a full square so it'll take a little bit longer to complete in my opinion the squares are a little bit harder than the full rounds i do both rounds and squares when i first started diamond painting i only did full squares and that's why i have a lot of um, extra squares in storage because um, I always keep my leftover drills and yes I have had um, a number of times to go into my extra storage and that is why I keep them so I am not going to take these all out we know <laughs> from experience and diamond art clubs reputation these drills are yeah they are pretty much perfect 
Um, so we do have a lot of black in here, as you can see, because we have a lot of the black outlining. But let's look at all of the other gorgeous colors in here. Sorry for the crinkling if you don't like that sound. I'm going to zoom you in. Okay. We have this beautiful bright yellow orange. Look at this blue. We have a couple of those packages. We have some skin tones in here for her face. It's beautiful. And my hand is right in your way. Sorry about that. Some pink. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Look at this purple. It is kind of hard to show it in the bag. And I know some of you like me to take them out of the bag. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, for this particular video, I am going to show them to you just in the bag. It just kind of gives you a sneak peek of the colors, but if you would prefer for me to take them out of the bag and show them all to you, let me know in the comments below. I will do whichever is the majority of the response that I get, okay? So if you answer nothing else, please let me know that one for those of you who do diamond paint and watch these videos. So we have a lot of gorgeous pinks. Look at that purple. Another pretty pink. Look at that lime green. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Beautiful blue violet. Here is an AB white. Does it state how many? It should state how many. Uh, it's probably on here. How many AB colors we have? Um, no, it's not stating it. I know for uh, some of you Diamond Art Club experts, um, if you are watching this, let me know where it is indicated how many ABs are in this particular um, diamond painting. Yeah, I don't see it on the box either. Okay, but I know there's like two or three ABs in this particular diamond painting. So we have some beautiful mint greens. Here comes all the black. <laughs> Look at all the full packages of a black. So we have some beautiful light blues. Oh, the bright colors, some more pinks. Beautiful bright yellow. Oh, look at that deep teal. Another pink. Lots of pinks in here. And a lot of blues and greens. A beautiful orange. There's a blue AB. A couple of packs of those. So her hair is going to have a lot of AB in it. Oh my gosh, that is going to be stunning. Stunning. So yeah, lot of ably blues. More skin tones in here. Another blue violet. Yes. Another blue. Oh my gosh, this is going to be gorgeous. All of her diamond paintings are gorgeous. And of course, I always have to pick the the beautiful colorful ones. They're just so pretty. Okay, so again, that is Dahlia. And that is, again, the smaller of the three. I know when I unbagged the two without taking the drills out of the packaging, it really did not take that long. So that's why in this video I am going to show you three different Diamond Art Club paintings. So let's get this back in the box. They always make the boxes plenty big so it's easy to get them back in for storage because I do not leave mine out. I know some 
Maybe not necessarily with Diamond Art Club, but um, other companies, I know a lot of people will lay theirs flat and then have the drills separate from the canvases. I always leave mine together, especially stored in these nice boxes. So, all right, next up we have Sasha and Jet. And again, this one's a little bit bigger. This is a 55 by 77. And this is a full round. Let me get this other big one out of the way. Again, on the back of each box, it does kind of show you how to go about doing a diamond art club or a diamond painting. Again, we get this nice toolkit. And their logo and their saying always is, do what makes you sparkle. <laughs> Which for us is diamond painting. And again, you get the sticker to put on your box or whatever, whatever you want to do with it. Again, oh, premium soft canvas scalloped on the edges. <gasps> oh, look at that. Again, all outlined in black. I think most of hers are outlined in black. And maybe that's one of the things that draws me to her. Um, and the girls are just so cute with those big eyes. Oh, just like her coloring books. So let's unfold this and we'll, even with my camera zoomed out, I'll zoom it out as far as it goes, um, all the way. Of course, these large diamond paintings, you're not going to get all in the camera. <laughs> Again, we have our large key code over here, the number, and then the symbol and the DMC code, upper left, and in the lower right. But look at her. So we have Sasha, and then here is Jet. She is so cute. So we're gonna have a lot of peaches, a lot of skin tone on this one. And she is a mermaid, as you can tell. Oh, she's so pretty. So pretty. So a lot of black and a lot of skin tones in this one and a lot of blue. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to leave her up here. We're going to take a look at the drills. Again, you get your step-by-step -step instructions, so I don't save that. And you get your stickers. Put this in your logbook. And again, nice stickers for your storage uh, case while you're working on it. And we do have the blanks. And then we have our drills. Oh, this is heavy. So you can already tell we have a lot of skin tones. Gives you the name of the diamond painting here. So again, let's open the packet. Lots of black. <laughs> and I don't mind that. I like, I do not like confetti. <laughs> I don't. So places where we have lots of black coloring, diamond painting. I love that. One I'm working on right now. Oh, my huge waterfall. Lots of confetti and it's taking me forever. So, take a look at these colors. So again, we have lots of peach. Here we have grays in her hair. Oh my gosh, this blue is an AB. Oh, oh darker gray. Probably some shading on her skin. Some, let's do it this way so you can see it better. We have the purple. Gorgeous teal. Kind of hard to see the colors on the side. but So again, let me know if you don't like me showing them this way. We do have beautiful mint green. 
Oh, look at that. Bright green. I love that color. Gray. Probably some more sh Well, no. That, I think, is in Jet's eye. And then here's all of the black. It's a beautiful blue violet, and that's a huge pack. Must be her hair. Oh, gorgeous purple, lilac, green, beautiful blue, light blue, big pack of that. Here comes some more skin tones, grays, another gorgeous blue, Te deep teal. Oh, beautiful, bright pink, and like a dull, deep orange, more grays, oh, another gorgeous blue, and that is another AB, I know you probably can't see that on camera, oh, like a really light aqua, and then more of all the black, <laughs> so yes, of course, lots of black. And skin tones. And blues. <laughs> oh my gosh. So pretty. So, so pretty. I think almost all of their kits, if not all of their kits, do include at least one AB color. Um, and a lot of times multiple colors. And on here, I believe that is what the AB stands for, along with the number of the kit and the name. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, let's put this stuff back in. And we'll get this one put away and look at the last one. Oh, let me zoom you back out. Goodbye, Sasha. Until we meet again. <laughs> Okay, tuck you back in there. All right, and then finally, we have Good Witch. She's so cute. Okay, this is a full square. Oops, I was right. Love these boxes. They are so nice and heavy duty. So they are perfect to store in. When I see everybody's stashes of diamond paintings, I think most everybody, if not everybody, leaves their diamond art club. Sorry, I hit my mic. Um, in the boxes for storage. Another nice toolkit. We have the sticker for the box. And then again, sticker for your log book. This one does not have a start and end date on like the others. And these stickers are larger. So they're a little bit different than the previous ones. And we don't have the blanks on here. So I don't know if this is an earlier diamond painting and now they kind of upgraded it uh, to, you know, include the start and end date. Um, made them a little bit smaller so that they fit on your containers better. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, let's open. Seems like a little bit thicker plastic on this one too. Again, this is a larger one, 56 by 79. Here we go, folks, and we have her upside down, folks, I think. Yes, yeah. Oh, look at those reds. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she is so pretty those yellows. So we do have, as usual, 
color key down here. Nice and big. Oh my gosh, look at those eyes. <laughs> Again, outlined in black, so yeah. Lots of black in this one. Oh, this is a very heavy pack of drills. Look at her cute hair. Oh my gosh. Adorable red hat. We have a rainbow in here. Oh, love their sparkly canvases. So as usual, we have the number of the drill, the symbol, and the DMC code. And again, this one is a full square. Isn't she stunning? Like I said, I just love, love, love Hannah Lynn's artwork. Look at that eyeshadow. So you know we're going to have some bright greens in there. Lots of red. <laughs> Lots of red. Some beautiful yellows going on. Some golds. Browns. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can you tell? She is stunning. Just stunning. All right. Let's have a look. Again, I'm going to show you in the packaging. Please let me know in the comments so I can do what the vast majority of you guys like. Because it does not matter to me whatsoever. Okay, we start out. I'll zoom you back in again. Lots of crinkling right now. Start out with a bunch of the black. Here we have all the deep red shading. Mint green in the background. Well, and in her hair. So yeah, like three packs of this dark green or dark red. Oh, beautiful blues and greens. Some of that gold that I had mentioned. There's that bright green. Oranges, some more reds, pinks. Oh, lots of pinks. Skin tone. There's a gorgeous red. Get my hand out of the way. Look at that bright. Oh, it's slipping away on me. Bright yellow, because this is such a full bag of drills. She's the biggest one out of the three. Oh, that is so pretty. A couple packages of that bright, bright yellow for her dress. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so bright and colorful. Some more dark reds, bright greens. Here's a nice lighter yellow, blue, light aqua. And we have that brown. Oh, and this fine green is an AB. Oh my gosh. Is that going to be in her eyes and her, maybe her eyeshadow? Oh, so pretty. Lot of this red, of course. Now, if you do save your drills and you have leftover ABs, remember, you can put ABs anywhere in here and substitute what they have. So, if, say, her eyes are not AB and you want them AB or maybe her lips or anything you want accentuated and you have AB in your stash, always feel free to use that. Give some white whole bunch of skin tones <laughs> and then of course more black lots more black oh my gosh another stunning one by Hannah Lynn mm. how many of you have multiple Hannah Lynn diamond art clubs <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I just love them. They are my absolute favorite from Diamond Art Club, as you can tell. The vast majority of my stash behind me to open yet on camera are Hannah Lynn's. <laughs> I do have, I think, one or two other ones, though. And, oh my gosh, the one that is not handling, I may show in my next unboxing of my Diamond Art Club. And, uh, oh, it is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Of course it is, or I wouldn't have ordered it. All the Diamond Art Clubs are beautiful. So hard to decide, you know. It's like, oh my gosh, I want all of them. <laughs> So that is that. So again, we have Good Witch. If I can get the end in here, because this is such a long diamond painting. Don't want to wreck the end of the canvas. There we go. Good Witch. And Sasha and Jet. And Dahlia. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this Diamond Art Club diamond painting unboxing. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.